Power is the ability to get something done. When we go to the grocery store and buy food for our family, that's an exercise of power. It's getting something done. When we stand together to support one another's human rights, that also is power. Sometimes people come to see the word power in a negative way, identifying it only by examples of power that harm people or communities. The civil rights movement, for example, both today and historically, has been about power. We've also seen power used to deny human rights. How can we understand the difference between the two? At Paths to Understanding, we recognize that there are different ways to understand power. Power over others, power for others, and lastly, power with others. We recognize that many societies, cultures, institutions, and individuals use power over others as their primary expression of power. We do not believe this reflects the divine. We do not believe power over others reflects humans at our best. Some say that this sort of dog-eat-dog -dog power is inevitable and just the way the world is. No. Setting up a society this way is choice. It is also a bad one. As societies set up this way always fall apart, taking people, animals, and the ecosystem with them. People focused on power over others want to win the game of dominance. Now, some engage in power for others, seeking to advocate on behalf of others. And there are times when this is appropriate. There are times when it's appropriate to use our relative status to speak on other people's behalf. This understanding of power is where allyship begins. It is good. But this must be quickly followed by creating space for those formerly not listened to, those formerly without power. It's good for kids in school to stand up for those being devalued by their classmates. But if we stand for someone in such a way as to keep them dependent on us, well, we're just engaging in power over others while claiming to be virtuous. All too often, this is what self-proclaimed allies of oppressed minority groups do. And this is where it goes wrong. People focused on power for others often act, sometimes without knowing it, to keep the rules of the dominance game the way they are. At Pass to Understanding, we believe that the divine is best expressed in our world when human beings seek to have power with each other. In this understanding of power, those with more perceived power must boldly step back and listen to those with less perceived power. Who must boldly step forward so that all voices and wisdoms may inform our mutual work? This does not mean that those with more perceived power cannot use their power, but must at every step discern how to use it and whether or not to use it to further a change in the system. People acting to have power with each other don't want to win the game, but change the rules of the game so that everyone can win. They want to do away with dominance and build what Martin Luther King Jr. called the beloved community. If you're interested in learning more about how to be an authentic ally, building power with others, please join us for our new course, The Practice of Authentic Allyship. Join us in having power with each other so that we can stand in a large circle of mutuality in the beloved community together.